Hey guys, it's Rollcubs and boy do we have one for you today. We're going to discuss why you should skip your Ultra Vivirth and hopefully by the end of it, you will know why too. I am going to remind everybody we do have the Ultimate Edition giveaways going on, that's three copies. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment with your favourite class of Diablo 4 to be in the chance for winning. So the Ultra Liliths are going to be hidden objects throughout Sanctuary that permanently increase your character's attributes. What that means is you're going to find something, click it, and it's going to give you a couple of bonus for the entire account on Softcore for Softcore, Hardcore for Hardcore, and they will be separate. Now, it will transfer to alts as I've said, so what that means is when you've completed the entire campaign and got all the alters on your first character, the seventh character is going to have some very big increases. The alters are scattered throughout the world, and you can find them in obvious nooks and crannies, and also you can find them in the open if it's right next to something major so you actually find your very first altar at the very beginning of the game in the tutorial level so it does give you some easier to find now collecting the same altar multiple times with different characters in the same mode will give you about three percent experience and it's not worth farming for i'll explain the experience numbers later but i'll explain why on alts honestly if you're next one click it if not just ignore them now the unique bonuses they're going to give means, as I've said, you get a few percent of experience, you get 10 renown, which we will cover later as it's very important, but it will also give its unique bonus. This means when you first find an altar, all characters on the account will get a permanent attribute bonus from the list below. That's 2 dex, 2 strength, 2 willpower, 2 intelligence, or 5 murmuring orbal. This used to be 8, but they have actually been reduced to 5, and this here is your new um, blood shards for people who played Diablo F3. Now, the bonuses are maintained forever across your account and will roll over between seasons. So once you've got them, you don't have to do them again. And once I tell you how long it's going to take, you'll be happy with that. Now, each specific bonus granted is fixed for each altar, so you can't say do them all and one person will get 100 decks, one person will get 50 decks. You'll all have the exact same amount of points if you get the same altars. So how many points are we going to get per zone? Well, at the moment, only Fractured Peaks is 100% known, and you're going to work out roughly 12 dex, 12 strength, 12 willpower, 12 intellect, and 20 cap for the entire zone. But, what we're expecting is them to average out at about that for all the zones. So what we're currently looking at is about 60 dex, 60 strength, 60 willpower, 60 intelligence, and 100 cap. It may be slightly more, slightly less, but that's what we're looking at right now. So how many altars are there? Well, in each specific number of altars is a sizable number of additional attributes as we've discussed before. You can find 28 in Fractured Peaks, so presumably there are roughly 140 in total. As I've said, we're expecting there to be about the same in each. As you can see, at 28 each, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look to where the ones in the Fractured Peaks truly are. So a lot of them come in big clumps, so as you can see here, we've got a nice a selection of three here, we've got a nice selection of three here, but some of them are massively out the way in the middle of nowhere by themselves. So you will have to go and look for them, you will have to find them, but is it worth it? Let's find out. So what do we know? We know there's about 60 of each stat to be gained for each character. We know there's about 100 orbital capacity for each character. We know there's roughly 140 of them at 3% experience, that's worth 420 experience and just for just over 4 levels. Nice. One key point here is that the experience scales with level, means if you claimed them at 96 you would get them to 100, where if you claimed all of them at level 10 you would only get to level 14 and 20% through. If we claim that it's going to take about an average of 1 minute 30 to get each altar, to accept the people becoming slower as time's going on and getting tired, you can expect it to take about 210 minutes or 3 hours 30 minutes to collect all 140. But now for the main question, because this video is about why you should skip them. Is it worth rushing them? I've heavily contemplated, is it worth collecting them as your level? Not meaning do you click or walk past, but more do you go looking for them? The things that to consider are stat bonuses. You're going to gain well, quite a, a significant, I mean 60 to all stats at level 90 is huge. Um, and 60 to all stats at level 50 is ridiculous. But even that taken into that into consideration, they also give renown, 
And if you want to push rank 3 renown in every zone, which I will have a renown video coming out this week, but at rank 3 renown, you're going to get plus 2 skill points, but at 1 at renown 1 and 1 at renown 3, there is 5 sets of renown, that's 10 skill points overall, and you will want to farm all of these as well for the power creep. And I never really had any issues getting to rank 3 renown without collecting the altars. My main issue with farming them is the time restraint, as we've discussed, of taking nearly 3 hours 30 minutes to collect them if you're slow. Yeah, fair enough, you might be able to push to 30 seconds or a minute per. That's still popping off at 2 hours 20 minutes, where I've explained to viewers before that rushing the campaign for world tier 3 unlock is much more important. That's why my conclusion is that you should probably skip the altars at the low levels. Allow yourself to get to level 70 or 80 when you unlock world tier 4 and the game gets significantly harder for those play the alpha, and then unlock them. It'll give you a level bonus, a stat bonus when it's really needed, and this gives you time to focus on the more pressing matters, such as the campaign, the levelling and the aspect. But hopefully that explains it. If you do like what you see, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe, and until next time cubs, you know it. Peace.